Hey guys, it's Yoda, and today we are starting the first episode of the Family Dynamics Challenge. I'm very excited. I've been wanting to do this for a while now. I really wanted to do this challenge, so I'm gonna do this challenge. No ifs, ands, or buts about it, okay? I want to do it, so I'm doing it. <laughs> but yes, I've been, I, I don't know, I just really wanted to do this challenge. I wanted to do more like a family aspect because currently I'm doing Black Widow, and Black Widow is not very family. <laughs> not very family friendly i'll tell you that much but uh i really i wanted to do something that was a little bit more family oriented because i know i feel like we should have something cozy in between the black widow episodes i do have a bit of a backstory for our girl here so let me tell you this lovely lady that you see on your screen right now is named Alora Monroe. I have not made her parents yet, mostly because I don't feel like it right now. I'll make them later. But when Miss Alora was young, her family was always very warm and inviting to everyone and their families as well. You know, they had relaxing vacations a lot and cozy Christmases and cute little outings with the family. And her mother and father were both, you know, very well versed in cooking and, you know, having family meals and stuff like that. And she just grew a love for family. And now she loves cooking and baking and, and you know, now that she's a young adult, she really wants to create, well, recreate, create and recreate at the same time that magic that her family made for her growing up you know, she wants to recreate it while also creating her own version with her own family you know if that makes sense hopefully it does she wants to give her kids a, a warm and caring environment with her and her significant other whoever that may be she just wants to make sure that she gives her family the same environment that she grew up in which was very loving and very supportive but of course that's not her only dream because she grew a love for cooking with her family uh, she wants to further that in her career by becoming a chef she does want to make her own restaurant one day but she feels like she should start um under someone she doesn't want to go to university because she's more hands-on. She's a she's a more hands-on kept person. So she wants to like be in the field while becoming better at being a chef. So she doesn't want to go to university for it. She rather just work under somebody at a different restaurant and then once she feels comfortable enough to start her own, she will. If she ever does. You know, there may be a possibility that she may change her mind about starting a restaurant, but for now she feels like she should at least uh, get her skill up first before she tries to, you know, just jump into the uh, business aspect of running a restaurant. Yeah, that is her backstory. Uh, also, I would like to say thank you for 150 subscribers. Very cute. Very happy. Thank you. I, I appreciate the fact that people. Uh, like my videos and support me and i just wanted to give a, a big thank you before we jump right into the episode before i tell you her traits and stuff but yeah i just wanted to say thank you and hopefully you guys enjoy this series can we get to 200 yes let's do it <laughs> i think we can do it but yeah let me tell you guys her traits so Miss Alora here is outgoing, family oriented, and a foodie. We're supposed to have those. Uh, I didn't give her any extra traits because I didn't know what to give her, honestly. But she is a natural born actor, very good at acting. She could be an actor if she wanted to, but she wants to be a cook instead. Reculosis immune. Uh, she can't fix shit. I don't know why, but so many of my Sims can't fix anything. They're usually not good at handiness. <laughs> uh, she's casual at video gaming, apparently. Of course, she would love to have children. She she said science who me and science don't get along she said i don't know her okay i don't know her but she is a commander bold imaginative and strong-willed leaders always finding a way or making one popular hobbies for these individuals include taking leadership positions in community groups attending social gatherings or sporting events and playing competitive sports because these people 
are so often focused on their careers, they may have few interests outside work, or they may participate in leisure activities that can help further their careers. Which is makes sense because she is uh, supposed to have a garden, so that does make sense. <laughs> uh, she does have a weak immune system, which is unfortunate. Essence of flavor, caregiver, caregiver sims are driven by their empathy and compassion to protect and care. Unfortunately for others, they can exploit their good nature for their own ends. And she's a jester. Jester sims live for the moments of joy, humor, and silliness. Often though, they are irresponsible, wasting time by playing around instead of focusing on their goals. Hmm, I don't know if that fits her that much. Oh, thing out of the spotlight. I don't want to turn that on. I didn't look at the settings. This is the uh, rat boy save, the rat save 1.2. I did not change any of the settings. <laughs> okay, let's turn on aging. I forgot to do that. Uh, normal. Should we do normal or long? I'll do normal for now. If I feel like it's going too fast, then I'll just put it on long. But uh, season's 14. I kind of want to put this on 28 so we can have more time with the garden. But I, I usually go for 14 days. Mm. I'll, I'll look at the calendar for a second and then I'll decide later. Uh, rain and thunderstorms, sure. Blizzards, sure. If it starts lagging up my game, I'll turn that off. NPC voting, disabled. Oh uh, no, disabled. Keep that off. Uh, keep werewolves where they are. Enable acne, sure uh did, why would that why was that turned off <laughs> npc sims why was it turned off i like that relationship autonomy i like that that's cute uh might opt in i'll, I'll turn fame one if she gets if she ends up getting fame being a a you know a chef and stuff that's fine i don't mind that is there anything else i need to say i don't think so she doesn't have any skills i didn't give her any <laughs> probably should have but you know we'll start from the bottom that's fine did i not I know I gave her power. She literally has power. I don't know why she can't join a career from her phone. I mean, from there. Oh yeah, I got this UI mod for the phone. It looks so great. I like it. Business, find a job. Oh, let's get her career. It's, it's like raining heavily outside right now. Oh yeah, I need to take off her money. Okay, so let's give her a career. You can give the culinary career. Uh, anyone can make a dinner or mix a drink at home. The culinary career is for those who want to take it to another level and make money doing it. She could be a chef or a mixologist. Lovely. Okay, so let's take away her money. I'm going to put it at 3k. I think that's good enough. Uh, set it. There you go. Because I want her to buy groceries. I want her to purchase order delivery, grocery delivery. So, should we get cookbooks? Kind of want to, but we don't have the money for that. We'll do that another time. Let's get some tilapia, sure, and some trouts, and we'll get some things so we can. We'll get three of these things so we can plant them because we have to have a garden that has ten different plants. Oh my god, I never read the rules. <laughs> I just remembered I didn't read the rules. Oh my god. Okay, 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 okay. I was so ready to start the channel. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, okay. Please, mouse, please. I was so excited to start the challenge that I didn't even read the rules yet. I'm so sorry, guys. Trust me, I know what I'm doing. Uh, okay. Anyways, family dynamics, generation one, white picket fence. From the time that you strike out on your own as a young adult, you dream of cultivating a loving, familial relationships, as rich and unique as the dishes you love to create. You marry younger than some of your friends, raise a bundle of children, and enjoy gardening and entertaining in your spare time. Yet you still devote a portion of your life to your hidden dream of becoming a master chef. Traits, outgoing, foodie, family-oriented, aspirations, successful lineage, career, master chef, and the rules. Uh, complete at least five gold level dinner parties, master cooking and baking, marry as a young adult, and stay happily married until death do us part. Have three to four children, we're gonna have four, because I want it to be even. Maintain a garden with at least 10 unique plants, including a cow plant. Never had a cow plant in this game, particularly. I had one in Sims 3, but never in Sims 4. And um, complete at least three fourths of the aspiration. Upon completing level five of the culinary career, you may also choose to leave the career and open up a restaurant. When we get to level five, that she will make her final decision as as to if she wants to uh, stay there or make her own restaurant. So I'm so sorry I didn't read the rules earlier. <laughs> at least you didn't get that far into the episode before I remember. So my plan for today is that we're going to get some groceries um go to the bar real quick to meet some people and then have a little housewarming party that is going to be our first party okay 
Our first party is going to be a little housewarming party with other individuals in the community. And oh yeah, we're in Brindleton Bay, by the way. Um, I didn't say that either. Oh yeah, I need to do a house tour. You guys want a, a little house tour? Oh my god, I made this myself. Okay, I put this out myself. It's very cute, I think. I think it's really cute. I think I did a good job with it. Kind of my game's lagging, sorry. But yes, this is a little uh, living room corner. We got a cow plant to remind me that I need to get one because I will forget. I know I will. We got a little retro TV here. I thought this would fit with her because, you know, it's very farm-like or whatever. Um, This is the kitchen. I really like how that kitchen turned out. All of our food is missing. I put stuff there. I put like a bunch of drinks there, but of course they're in, in my household inventory for some reason. I don't know how to get them to stay where they are, but you know, whatever. Anyways, you got a little corner with our, you know, broom and vacuum. Uh, and here's the bathroom. We have a laundry area and a shower and a little area for the, you know, using of the bathroom. I don't know what I'm saying, but anyways. <laughs> and over here is her room. It's very pink. <laughs> I don't know why I made her room so pink. I, I, I said this in my Black Widow episode, um, but I only have three colors. Now that I've been playing The Sims more recently, um, I have like three colors, like three or four colors that I usually pick from. It's either pink, blue, green, or black. Like those are my only go-to colors and I don't know why. <laughs> I do not know why, but uh, yes. Over here, we have a little garden area for her so she can start her garden. I know we only need like 10 plants, but I would like for her to have more than that. And not every plant is gonna be in season as well so you know we have a little area for the spring uh plants and then the summer plants and the fall plants and the winter plants well i have little areas for each i think hopefully uh but yes this is the house yes like i said i built it myself it's very cute i'm very proud of it very proud of it so cute okay anyways that's enough of the house all right that's enough of the house Yes, we're going to be going to the bar soon because I want her to meet some people so she can invite them over to uh, her house party, her housewarming party later. Well, tomorrow. It's going to be tomorrow. And then, okay, after the housewarming party, she's also going to start going out on dates. Because I want to do dates in this particular episode. Or she's calling a friend. You don't have any friends. You don't know anyone. But yes, I want her to um, go on dates in this episode because I just, I feel like we should get started. I usually wait a while before i you know have them like start meeting people but you know we're supposed to marry as a young adult so we need to find them very quickly i want to at least go on three different dates okay i want her to go on three different dates and then we together we could choose who we like the most usually when i like one of the sims i get like super hyper focused on one of them and then never pick any of the other ones because i'm like i only like this one <laughs> get very hyper focused but i'm gonna try to be unbiased okay i'm gonna try my best i'm gonna try my best to be unbiased as possible but uh we go to the lounge or the bar. Mm -hmm. This one's a laundry mat as well. It's also a party place. You know what? Let's head to the saloon. Why not? There might be a lot of people there. There might not be, but we'll see. Oh, I don't know if I said this yet, but this is the first episode or first video that I'm recording with my new mic. So please let me know how it sounds. I think I sound pretty okay, but you know, let me know what you guys think. I would love to hear what you guys think about the new mic. But yes, anyways, we are here at the bar. Uh, there's not many people here. It's only like two guys. We know maybe they may not be our potentials. Who knows? We're gonna go talk to the bartender first because I want her to get a drink. She already wants a drink. So we're gonna go get her that drink. Let's introduce ourselves to the bartender. Why not? Go get out the rain, hun. I mean, he's cute. He's a young adult too, Simon. Hey, okay. Nature maniac. Girl, you're about to start a garden. What do you mean nature maniac? I mean, he's cute though. I do like Simon. He is adorable. She, he looks so bored. He looks so bored with her talking. Anyways. Maybe she's like, I'm going to be having a housewarming party because I just moved in. So if you want to come, you can. I'm going to be inviting so many people. But, right? Cool. Oh, she's getting a negative vibe from Colt. She thinks she's strong-minded though. They're getting along. Let's look at Colt real quick. I mean, he's like, is he an adult? He is an adult. I saw those lines. <laughs> okay. I mean, he's not horrible looking. Why is he yelling at me? Okay, never mind. Col oh, he has a spouse too. Why is he mad at me? What? Okay, whatever, Colt. You're an asshole. He has a, he's a spouse anyways. Oh, there's another old dude here. It's only old men. 
Where's the ladies? I want her to have girlfriends. Where's my drink, Simon? Where's my goddamn drink? Simon. Oh my god. Did you just get off of work? Bro. Bro. Uh, you really just left. Oh, gee. She's out. Oh, she's adorable. I want to be her friend. Can you come inside, please, so I can get my drink? Ma'am. Yes, please come inside. I, want, I would like to have my drink, please. Also, do you guys like the new uh, preset that I'm using for G-Shade? It's the Tofu uh, preset by L. I'm not going to say her full name because I already butchered it one time and I, I, I'm traumatized. <laughs> but yes, um, I'm using a new preset. I think I love it so much. I love it. I hope you guys like it too, because I'm going to be using it from now on. I'm glad I got to get out today. I really didn't want to stay home. I just really didn't want to stay at home today. Oh, that's cute. Better introduce ourselves to G here. Can I please get my drink? I think I keep picking make drink. G, can you please make my drink? Uh, adventurous. Okay. What's she think about us though? Oh, she thinks that we're annoying, but we have okay chemistry. We could be friends. We could be friends. Why can't I order? Hold on, let me reset her. <laughs> it should not be this hard to get a freaking drink, dude. Let me reset the bartender. Okay, and now sit down. Okay, okay, now we can order. Order favorite drink, please. Oh, she's doing really well. Nice. Oh, nice. And she didn't break any of them. Oh, she's really good at this. Oh my god. Okay, what do you like? Let's see what she likes. I can't see what she likes. I think it's, uh, what's it called? I recognize it. I just don't know what it's called. I wish I could see what it's called, but it won't tell me. It won't let me know. Gin Fizz. Okay. Mrs. Gin Fizz. She likes Gin Fizz. Okay. Nice. Oh, she's pee suddenly. Oh. Oh, God. Mitchell, are you okay? Oh, my God. I mean, he looks fine. He looks like he's living his best life. Oh, Beatrix. Okay, we should go talk to her. Oh, the bathroom's upstairs. Okay. We have her use and go talk to the other two people downstairs. And then we may head, head over to the other bar that's across the street over here. So we can see if there's any other people that's around. Come here and speak to Beatrix after you're done using the bathroom, please. Laura's so cute. I love her so much. Oh, they got negative vibes. Oh, she thinks I'm annoying. Oh, well. I don't understand what you said. Oh, is she not from here? Well, apparently, Beatrix is not from here. Where's she from? Um, oh, Solani. Oh, okay. Well, that's cute. Let's go talk to this guy. Does he live in this neighborhood? Alana Ills. I feel like she's a Solani person. Mostly by the name. Go introduce yourself as well. Okay. We only have uh, one lady so far that we're inviting to our house. Oh, oh, Siobhan. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I knew she was Sulani. Okay. I want to go speak to Siobhan. Huh? I think that's how you say her name, Siobhan. I'm probably saying it's so wrong. Yeah, go talk to her. I hope we're friends. I want to be friends with her. Alora, go introduce yourself now. I think she's from Windenburg. Is she from Windenburg? Yeah, that's what I thought. I knew it. I kind of want to give her Simlish, just so she can know Simlish. Daryl Charm. I know he's no Simlish. Oh, she thinks her, she's annoying. I mean, it still seems like they're getting along, even though they don't know what they're saying. We'll introduce ourselves to Daryl as well. Girl, where are you going? Mop? Why are you going to mop up a puddle that's outside? Are you stupid? Get over here and introduce yourself to this man, please. Victor, why does Victor look like this? Victor does not look cute in this safe. I'm sorry. Victor's supposed to be uh, the sugar daddy. He does not look like one. He looks like an old man. Well, he's an adult. I see those lines, okay? I see those lines. I see them lines from here, okay? He looks like a dad. Which is, he could still be a sugar daddy. That's fine. <laughs> he looks like he has like three kids, which is okay. <laughs> but he doesn't look like our Victor, okay? Anyways, um, once again, I'm asking for your financial support. Um, sure. She thinks Daryl is pretentious. Okay. I kind of want to give Siobhan Simlish because I feel like she would know Simlish. I don't know. I just feel like she would know Simlish. I mean, is she in a rich family? She's part of the Paragon, so I'm assuming she is part of a rich family and a rich family would know Simlish. So I kind of want to give her Simlish. Um, so we can be friends. Uh, cheat info. Um, just an SOT. Set skill. Now I gotta find Simlish because it's not in alphabetical order. When it should be. But it's not. Uh, Simlish, here you go. 
and I'm putting it at 10. Yep, there you go. Anyways, you suddenly know Simlish. Nice. I want her and Siobhan to be friends. I really think I'm saying her name wrong, but I don't care right now. Do they get along? Let's see if they get along. Uh, okay, chemistry. Yes, lovely. I feel like she would dress better than that. I mean, still cute. But I feel like she would dress a little bit better. Yeah, I want I want her to get to know Siobhan a little bit more because I want them to be friends. Yeah, I want her to have a, a little a little friends. I'm gonna give Siobhan a makeover. <gasps> oh, a kitty. A little kitty, the general. You're kind of cute. Not that cute, but you're kind of cute. I was gonna ask if uh if Laura should get a a dog or a cat. Should she get a pet? I kind of feel like she would be a dog person. I kind of feel like Alora would be a dog person, but you guys let me know what you think. Oh, oh my god. Oh, Dustin and Javon. Oh, <gasps> no, you did. No, they aren't. No, they're not. They're not about to woohoo in the middle of the freaking street. Where are they? Also, this lady is just dancing out here. All of heavens. Oh my god, they are woohooing. Where did they go? Hold on. Where did they go? They're literally right here. They haven't spawned in yet. We're gonna go outside and go talk to this Polina person because she seems cool. Go talk to her outside. Oh my god, they're like right. Why? They're on the jukebox. Why? Why are they on the jukebox? <laughs> why are they on the jukebox? Why? 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 Okay, I'm gonna stop this. <laughs> oh my god, I can't believe they're on the jukebox. Why? Please, Alora, please don't watch them. It's reacting. Don't react. Just ignore. Don't react. I'll get rid of it in a second. Just come out here and talk to this lady. Okay, just finally introduce yourself to this lady. Okay, while she talks to her, I'm gonna make them stop. Okay, stop all. Please. I beg. I beg of you. Thank you. Say something to her. You gonna say something? Responsible. She doesn't like me. Why not? Clingy. Okay. <laughs> Fair enough. Who's this? Uh, Alarina. Valrina. I want to say Alrina. Valrina. Cute. Cute name. I like it. Let's go introduce ourselves as well. Who's this? Is he fabulous? Why do you have devil horns? <laughs> Why do you have horns on your head? Is he? Cute. Interesting. Responsible. Oh, cute. Unknown caller. Refuse to participate. Ooh, who's this? Oh, Salim. All right. Hey. Hey, Salim. How you doing? Introduce yourself. Hey, she thinks he's immature. Oh, Valrina doesn't know Simlish. I read that wrong. She doesn't know Simlish. What do you know? Where are you from? Uh, extra language help. Oh, she knows both of those? Nice. But she doesn't know Simlish? That just makes sense. Maybe she didn't want to learn Simlish. Who knows? I feel like she would if she knows two languages. <laughs> would she not know Simlish as well? <laughs> I mean, if she already knows two, what's stopping her from learning Simlish? Is that Victor? Look at features here. Go talk to Victor. Go friendly introduce us to Victor since he wanted to call us. I kind of want to give her Simlish since she already knows two languages. <laughs> I want her to be our friend. You're going to be my friend, okay? Well, Victor's on the phone, so we can't go talk to him. It's really late. It's like it's like 8 p.m. So we probably should go home. We met enough people to invite them over to the party. To the housewarming party tomorrow, so let's just go home. We're going to have a lot of faces coming to the party tomorrow. Very excited about that. I know Laura is as well, because she wants to cook for people. I forgot to buy groceries, but that's fine. You can buy them in the morning. Okay, so we're back home. I'm gonna have her make herself something to eat. Um, have dinner. Let's make some. Let's make a salad. Once she buys groceries, I'm gonna put the simple living trait on, so she can actually use the ingredients. Do we have work tomorrow? Oh, we do have work tomorrow. That sucks. <laughs> Maybe she should have the housewarming party on the weekend then. Never mind. Oh god, I I should have looked at her schedule. That's my fault. We'll have the housewarming party on Saturday. She looks so angry. I don't know why she's so mad. Oh, Laura, what's wrong? Oh, she's tense. Social bunny, get away from me, please. Only 50% done. Well, she'll make breakfast in the morning then. Well, let me set her alarm. I didn't do that yet. Set her alarm. Career. Culinary normal let's clean up our plates and then we will head to bed i said clean up clean up clean up are you stupid <laughs> is you dumb clean up do you like not know where the sink is are you stupid okay <laughs> is you stupid alora <laughs> the sink is right there oh my god okay i probably should have play tested this but that's my fault 
Okay, you know, let's go, go to bed, please. Probably should have play tested. I'm probably, probably, we're probably gonna have to move this thing. I'll just delete this and see if she can um, use it in the morning. Yes, she's going off the bed. And I will see you guys in the morning. Okay, Miss Alora's awake. She decided to wake up a little bit earlier than her alarm. Because she really need to pee. <laughs> Is the reason. She really need to go to the bathroom, so. Up a little bit earlier than her alarm. It's fine. I'm gonna go take a shower as well. And then she'll brush her teeth and go put on her clothes for today. I think we're going to wear this outfit. Sure. What the fuck? What is it? I, I, I'm not gonna say anything. Whatever. Her alarm's going off. Turn off. Yes, yeah, so I'm gonna have her come in here and brush it up a little bit. Um, put on perfume. And I'm gonna have her make some breakfast for herself very quickly. Let's just do a oatmeal. Oh, we can do oatmeal. Let's do oatmeal. Let's do oatmeal. Cute. Okay, she's gonna go make some oatmeal. I didn't get her daily task up, but that's fine. I'm just putting it in the microwave. But wouldn't this count? I'm sad this doesn't count. <laughs> it counts to me, okay? <laughs> Oh, she only has a couple minutes to eat anyways. Well, no, she doesn't. It's, it's, she goes to work at nine. Those are like two scoops. What the hell? I was like two scoops of oatmeal. What? Okay, I'm gonna have her make something real quick. So she can, uh, get her daily task done. Uh, just make some fruit salad. Also, she used the bathroom sink and not her actual sink, by the way. Disable dishwashing, please. Don't do that ever again. I swear to God. Okay, is she done with her daily task? Yes, nice. Oh, let's look at her aspiration. So she needs to make five escalant meals. Escal escalant? Excellent. What, what am I saying? Escalant. <laughs> like I'm trying to say escalator or something. Anyways, and cook two meals while, while inspired. Okay, she can do that. Okay, we can do that. We already made two excellent meals <laughs> already. She goes to work in three minutes. I don't know why I can't speak today. Oh, she wants to bake something cute. I will save that. Window peeping. Oh my god. Where are you? I saw it. Get out of here, asshole. <laughs> Please go to work. Bye, Laura. Enjoy your first day of work, honey. Bye-bye. Did I delete you? Did I delete you? Go away. I ain't coming back. Goodbye, honey. I'm gonna have her... Have you been gossiping about me? Is that true? No, shut up. I'm gonna have her... Um... Is her social low? No, her social is fine. I'm gonna have her work hard. Why not? I want to eat something really delicious. Of course you do. Of course you do. Oh, Siobhan's calling. Can you cook me something? I'm very hungry. I keep bur burning my food. Cute. Cute. We're not home yet, though. We come home in like 20 minutes. If you can wait like 20 minutes, then sure, we can make you something, Siobhan. Oh, she already got promoted. Also, she got struck by lightning. <laughs> Oh, when did she get struck by lightning? <laughs> when? <laughs> Alora, are you okay? <laughs> when did you get struck? Anyway, she got promoted. I did. Dishwasher. Nice. When the fuck did you get struck by lightning? <laughs> Siobhan, please come inside, honey. We need to take a shower real quick. Because we somehow got struck by lightning. <laughs> please come inside. Oh! oh. <laughs> Alora, are you okay? <laughs> Oh my god. Jesus Christ. It like it, it like put the smoky effect on us before we even got struck by lightning. Inside the house, by the way. Okay, can we come inside please? Also, I need to buy the automatic thermostat real quick. And then go take a quick shower, please. Oh yeah, we need to buy groceries. Let's order groceries first. Before I forget completely that we need to order groceries. Hmm, what kind of things do I want in my garden? We'll do strawberries and raspberries. Um, we'll do avocados and apples. Oh, we'll do green beans, green peas, sure, mushroom, 
uh, spinach, onions. We'll get two spinaches and two onions, two tomatoes. We'll just plant one and put the other one in our um, refrigerator. We'll get two apples then, since we can, and two both raspberries. Uh, yes, that's all we need from here. We just have potatoes. We don't have potatoes. Uh, let's get some milk. I might need that for something. Let's get cheese. Let's do four. We have four eggs and some flour and some bread. We can just make bread. Some parsley, some sage, aubergines, lettuce, small mushroom. Can we plant those? I hope so. Watermelon, sure. Sugar. We definitely need sugar. And we'll do red meat. Yeah. Do four. A thousand dollars. Sounds about right. Ma'am, go put on your clothes, please. Siobhan, why haven't you come inside? Hmm? She's just standing there. Maybe we go sit over here and then call her over. She'll finally come inside. Also, I forgot to turn this off. Uh, remove shoes and doors, please. And then call her over. Can't call her over. Tell an engaging story then. And we will accept our delivery. Why is her hand disappearing? We'll give them a tip as well. Just yeah. Cute. All right, thank you so much for our delivery. And we will open. Everything has gone into the fridge. Now I want to move some of this stuff into her inventory. I don't know when she got a pizza, but I'm not gonna question it. <laughs> Whatever, <laughs> apparently she has a pizza. Uh, fall and winter, what's out? It's summer right now. What can we do in summer, spring, fall? Uh, doesn't matter, apparently. Okay, fall and spring. It apparently doesn't matter. I don't know if I can even plant that. I'll just plant everything. I'll just, I'll just plant all of it. It's fine. Uh, yes. That's everything. That is everything that I want. Okay, now let's... We'll just eat this pizza that she randomly had in our inventory. <laughs> With Siobhan. Yes. I'm gonna get some pizza, honeys. Let's get to know Siobhan some more. Uh, get to know. I can't see the plate underneath this thing. It's gonna be a problem. God, that's gonna be a problem. <laughs> put these right there, I guess. I'm gonna put it back. There you go. Okay. Yeah, we're just getting to know Siobhan some more. Let's uh, ask about her dining preferences. She's gonna be our guest tomorrow, so it's, it's nice to ask her what she thinks. Where are you going? Don't go to bed. I didn't tell you to go to bed. Ask her about her dining preferences. Now, uh, she likes pizza, hates British food. Okay. Oh, good thing we had pizza in our inventory. Lucky. Um, let's ask about flavor preferences. Oh, she likes raspberries. Cute. That's adorable. I also like raspberry Siobhan. I'm glad we have our friend. That's so cute. Wait, what's her other likes and dislikes? Do we know those? Uh, she likes pop culture and dislike news. Okay. Do we have pop culture as one of our likes don't remember if we have pop culture as one of our likes no you don't want the beauty that's the same thing right do beauty and ask about beauty influencer social posts this is very relevant lol okay we came we became better friends with siobhan and laura's getting really tired and really needing to be but we had a good time it's time for siobhan to go home now though so get out of here and uh let's go to the bathroom we'll put this away first actually put away and then go use the toiletto and uh go to bed well we can probably where are you going laura i don't like you <laughs> did it go in the please tell me it went in here it didn't even go in here what i'm gonna have to do it myself i'm probably just gonna have to do it myself it didn't even go in here Wasted a whole pizza. Girl. How many times do I gotta fucking kill you, dude? Hmm? How many times? Anyways, I'm gonna have her go to bed. <laughs> Let's go to bed, and in the morning, we will get ready for the party. Hey, Laura is awake. I'm having her go to the Wicked store. Please put on clothes, hun. I'm having her go to the Wicked store, because it did say that she's gonna be starting her period soon. So, I'm gonna have her go buy some tampons. I feel like she'll be a tampon user. Uh, let's put on this outfit. Why not? Probably should have showed off all her outfits, but you know, there's a cast video that I put up. So, if you guys really want to see her outfits, you can just look at that. But, uh, oh my god, everything's disappearing on her. 
and get far away enough that's fine well off you go hun also i put some things in the calendar so i set up the party apparently today is the romance festival it's at five um i was thinking since the romance festival is at five wait when's it where's the romance festival going to be where's it going to be near the planet honey pop okay we might go out on a date well i don't want it to be influenced by the romance festival actually mm. okay you know what let me change the time we will have our housewarming party at 12 all right and and later on when the party is over we will go out on our first date with a random person we will use me and Meagle. and if me and Meagle doesn't work because i did try it i did try to try it at one point but it didn't work for me for some reason so uh i do still have simda in so if it doesn't work again um i can just use simda so we have a backup option and i do want to use me and Meagle because it is new but she's hungry so i'm gonna have her come make something i know we already have fruit salad but she needs to prepare food so i'm going to have her come make some eggs and toast why not why not i'm glad we got to talk today cute i'm glad siobhan's our friend <laughs> Oh, she got level three already. Nice. I think I'm get something to eat. I want her to start baking soon. We do need to make some things for the uh, party, and I want her to buy some more groceries. We do need to buy some more. So let's uh, order delivery groceries. Oh, it's just the same stuff. It hasn't changed over. That's unfortunate gonna go wash her plates and now i want her to i want her to uh start making food for the party i want her to bake something for the party let's see cupcakes make some cupcakes for the party let's make some uh let's do carrot cakes why not hmm okay we'll make some lasagna presto with presto and some wonton soup we'll do both of those when she's done baking these cupcakes is this getting her baking skill up no it's getting her cooking skill up why is it not getting her baking up i'm confused i use the like ravishing thing why is it not getting her baking up i'm so confused bake cupcakes it says bake can I only do vanilla? I guess we make vanilla too, as well. Okay, now she's getting baking. Okay, carrot cakes didn't count. I guess that's fine. Well, now we have carrot cakes and vanilla. Cares people don't like carrot cake, which I don't know why you wouldn't like carrot cake. But I digress. She doesn't care about not wearing her shoes indoors. Okay, so I'm gonna put slippers. Would she wear slippers? <laughs> I don't know if she would wear slippers yes okay um let's start making the meals did i say 12 i think i said 12 okay let's make some presto lasagna with presto have a child she really wants a kid don't worry honey i'm gonna be going on dates today so you'll be getting your wish shortly hopefully at least nice Oh, not nice. <laughs> Cooking level four, nice. So we invited everybody that we've met so far. So hopefully they all show up. Uh, let's go make that wonton soup. And that'll be our final meal before 12. I'm glad we started early. But uh, after this, I'll have her use the bathroom and watch some TV. She can get her fun up before everybody shows up. Should we get some music? Oh, Siobhan, what the fuck? Yes, of course. You can be besties. Adorable. So cute. Javon, you're in a way though. Are you gonna help me with cooking? Or is she gonna chat with me? Cute. Adorable. Deeply connected. Adorable. So cute. I'm gonna put the soup on this tray here. And I'm gonna put the lasagna right there. Nice. I think we should get music. I'm gonna have to use the bathroom, but I feel like we should get music. We don't have that much money, so we're not going to get anything expensive. 
Let me get a tiny little speaker. Get a tiny speaker. Okay. Also, is there something else I wanted to get? I feel like there was. <laughs> oh, she's wearing her slippers. Nice. But yeah, I'm gonna have her quickly make some tea. Oh, some coffee. Oh, it's just coffee. Okay, I thought it was a tea thing. It's fine. Anyways, make some coffee and then get a bottle of the cheapest thing that's on this list. <laughs> Let's get, um, it's only the martinis that are. Let's get the risotto. Oh my god, it's almost time for the housewarming party. Are you guys excited? I'm excited. I didn't want you to take a cup, but that's fine. I don't remember if she likes coffee. Do you like coffee? You do like coffee nights. I wanted you to get some, uh, champagne. Oh yes, let's start. Nice. Oh, where's the little gold thing? I don't have the gold thing. Nice, she's wearing a party outfit. I don't have the gold thing. Whatever, I'll still count it anyways, it's fine. I thought I would have it, but I don't. Which is fun, thank you for coming early. I appreciate it. This is her party outfit. This is one of her party outfits. She looks so cute. I love her so much, she looks so cute. Let's see if anybody shows up. Okay, Colt showed up. Who else showed up? Uh, Mitchell showed up. Colton Mitchell. Oh, everybody's here. Okay. I wish y'all would come inside. Let me turn on the music. Let's turn on easy listening. Let me call people to the meal. Let's call the meal. Um, was this the lasagna? He's Simon and Siobhan would get the lasagna and the wonton soup. The Mitchell. Was that a big? I feel like Colt and uh, Salim would get the uh, cupcakes. Let me call them over so they can come inside. Bro, loose gear and get something to eat as well. Cute. Everybody's grabbing something. <laughs> oh, was, oh, was Jay at, uh, at work? Was she at work? I want to go talk to Jay. Of course, Paulina is dancing. But I want to be friends with Jay. Let's come. Get to know. Let's uh, ask her about her day. Where's the mess? Everybody's saying there's a mess somewhere, but nobody's saying where. Why are you sitting in my room? <laughs> oh my god, the friend group is talking. <gasps> Why are they both sitting in my room? I want Valerina to also be in the friend group. I need you to get over here and ask day. Oh, she got the gourmet cooking scale? From where? Okay, this party's... Oh, they're slow dancing. Cute. Okay, this party's kind of cute. Like, she likes to be frugal. Okay, Paulina. I'm gonna have her grab a drink. Somebody didn't eat their cupcake. Why not? You can have the cupcake then. Which is central cupcake? Oh my god. A martini and a cupcake? Sounds pretty nice. Oh, she got five excellent meals already. She needs to need to cook while she's ex in expired. Expired? Can I say words correctly? Inspired. <laughs> she, can, she can cook while she's dead, okay? She needs to make two meals while she's fucking dead. <laughs> Oh my god. Can y'all stop going in my room, please? I wish y'all would stop going in my room. Okay, everybody's just casually talking. Uh, call to grab drink. Everybody come grab a drink if you can. I want her to scan the room to see if she likes anyone that's in here. I don't know if she will like anybody in here, but I just want to see. Ooh, uh, Daryl, interesting, and Mitchell, he's married. I'm not going after Mitchell, he's married. Okay, she looks Daryl, okay. Let me get another look at him. I mean, Daryl's kind of cute. I mean, he's looking kind of mean right now. <laughs> he's kind of cute. All right, 
I was hoping she liked Simon, but that's fine. At least he's cuter in the save. Thank you. Uh, thank him for coming. Oh, he's tense right now. I wonder why. Maybe we can relieve his tension. It's good to know. And ask about his day. He likes geology and dislikes spits. Okay. Let's come in his outfit. Why not? I like the cow print. Well, since he likes geology, sure can't be tips, maybe. Same thing, right? It's nature. He don't care. And he just rolled his eyes. <laughs> He's like, yeah, yeah, sure. <laughs> um, let's bring this day. He's so tense. Let me make her friend group real quick before I forget. Siobhan, Jay, Bolara, and Paulina. Okay, we made him feel better. Nice. Let's go. Let's ask him what he thought about the food. Oh, we're just talking about cooking, but we'll also we'll ask him. I bet everybody's having a good time over here. Okay. I kind of like them together. I, I don't know how their first impressions were. Let me see. She thought he was pretentious and he thought she was fun to be around. They have bad chemistry. <laughs> you know what? Never mind. It was a thought. It was a thought. Okay. I think that's it for the house party. It is 5. Well, it's almost 5. It's 4.30. And I want her to be able to go out on a date. Uh, I'm going to say this was a gold event. Thank you everybody for coming. I appreciate it. I appreciate all of you for being here. Thank you. I'm going to help her put these away. Because I know she's not going to put it in the fridge. I'm going to turn this off. And I'm going to start cleaning up. Oh god. We're slipping on that. Bro, please. Get out of here. I know Alora is beautiful. But please, dude. Okay, she's just cleaning up right now. I'm gonna put this cupcake in the trash. I forgot the vacuum, but that's fine. We can vacuum now. Let me put this away. And have her go vacuum after now that everybody's left. Oh, she's hungry. Well, good thing we're about to go on a date. So, now that we are done with the house party, our first house party, we can now go and meet and mingle. It says successful advertisement, but only one person joined the freaking app, dude. Whatever. Okay, we'll just use Simda. We'll just use Simda. We'll use meet and mingle another time, but for now, we'll just use Simda. You know, we'll just go on a, a blind date. Why not? We'll just go on a blind date to the local restaurant. Let's do a male blind date, because apparently she's in the men. Do a male blind date. All right, let's see who her blind date is. Two thousand years later okay so it took like 10 million years to load <laughs> and because it took so long and it was running in the background while it was loading she ended up peeing on herself which is not a great way to start a first date i will say but we're going out with this guy i don't know who that is but we'll go to the local pizza place pizza and pies and um yeah see if they hit it off or not if they hit it off i'll just give him a makeover a few moments later um okay so we're here at the date it took so long to load dude <laughs> so long okay i'm going to turn off thunderstorms because it's lagging my game at least i think that's what's lagging my game and it's been thunderstorming for like the past three days <laughs> when it comes to her you know pissing herself i didn't see it so it didn't happen okay you didn't do that i didn't see it it didn't happen also you don't smell you smell fine so it didn't happen you're just making up stuff it's okay who's this she's pretty angelica okay cute all right we just need a simple a table we're gonna sit inside we're gonna sit at this table a request table and who's the dude that we showed up with tony tan okay i kind of want angelica to be part of our friend group she's cute oh anna's here and janae they look cute love her hair can we sit down please thank you angelica tony get off your phone so rude also it is sunday morning by the way didn't we leave at like seven it was oh god this game my game lagged so much that it skipped to the next day like that's how bad it was dude <laughs> oh my god okay i was wondering why it was morning 
Okay. Well, this Tony Tan guy. Yeah, if if she ends up liking this dude, I'll give him a makeover. But again, this is just a first date. Okay, we don't have to make commitments. Can you come sit down, please? Let's sit across from him. So let's introduce ourselves to this guy. Uh, friendly introduction. Hello, Tony. I'm Alora. Nice to meet you. Oh, he already hates me. Interesting. She thinks he's fun to be around. Why does he hate me? Clingy. And she thinks he's basic looking. He has a wife? This man has a whole wife. I'm going to ask him if he's single. And when he says no, she's going to end the date. Because she's not that kind of woman. You're married to Penelope? Get out of here. End it. Motherfucker, you're married. Wasn't there an option that we can only date single sims? I think I have to- I think that's the part of the mod that I have to put in. God, I- You mean to tell me it took like 20 minutes for my game to load this fucking date and this man is married? I think that's fucked up. Anyways, get up to the table. We're, we're not ordering anymore. This date is over. Okay, why did you do this to me? Oh my god, I feel so bad for you, Laura. <laughs> honey, also there's a floating poster, but honey... Oh my god, I accidentally went on a date with a married man. Let's see if the meet and mingle thing finally has freaking profiles or not. Semi-blind, let's do that. I saw that we matched on meet and mingle. Who am I to question fate? Instead, I'll ask you on a date. Wanna, be, wanna meet and see if any sparks fly? Hmm. I mean, he kind of looks cute. He has very big eyes. Um, not now, sorry. Let's look again. Let's see if we get any other matches. This old man? No. <laughs> what the fuck are these options? Is that Bajorn? He is married. No. Is that it? Is that really it? Okay, now let's look at profiles. I hate that this is not working out for me. <laughs> Laura, I'm so sorry, honey. It still only says that one person. What? In the world? Like, at this point, like, I, it's only been day one of this of me recording this and i already feel like making her somebody i mean he's not bad looking but i don't think he's a laura you know i don't think he is for a laura you know should we do this sim to dating i'm i'm like so close to just making her somebody <laughs> so close or should we go with daryl a specific date let's do a specific date again and just see who's out there no pancakes looks cute though I don't know who the hell he is, but he does look cute. I will say that. Um, Tomax is kind of cute. Akira, I know Akira's single, but I don't want to go with base game townies. Marcus is looking good. I still don't know why he has devil horns on his head, and that's so weird. <laughs> Ooh, Isaac. Isaac looks cute. Okay, let's try Isaac. Is my game going to take a million years to load again? Probably. I have it on speed too, and she's hungry, so hopefully she doesn't die <laughs> in the process of this taking so long to load. Oh god, I'm scared. I should have saved. I should have saved, dude. Oh my god, just looking at the profile on the set and the on the side, like they look kind of cute together. We'll just stay at the pizza place. I don't feel like going anywhere else. So let's get the same table. Request table. Oh, there he is. He, why he got a whole suit on? All right, we are now sitting down with Isaac. So now that we're here with Isaac, he is kind of cute. He is very cute, actually. Okay. Introduce yourself, honey. Oh, he thinks we're annoying. <laughs> oh, does he not speak Simlish? Oh, well, you're about to speak it right now, honey. Well, yeah, about to. Oh, he's Windenburg. Okay, well, guess what? You suddenly know Simlish. <laughs> you suddenly know Simlish, okay? There you go. What do you think about him? You think he's cute? Basic looking. <laughs> he is a married man. Okay. <laughs> Loris is not having any luck. Uh, give up table this was a fail um this is a fail dating fail episode one okay well the only person who's single that i know of is daryl and they have bad chemistry what do you think about salim basic looking 
Salim and Daryl basically look the same. Does she not like beards? What do you think about Simon? Unattractive. Okay. <laughs> That's fucked up. That's fucked up. Uh, okay. Um, yeah, I'm probably just gonna have to make her someone. <laughs> I'm probably just gonna have to make her somebody. Because, oh my god. She's not having any luck. Who's over here? Oh, it's Aaliyah. What's wrong with her? What is that? Oh, what? She got fucking leg warmers on. You got Bob walking around. <laughs> I just, just like don't know what to do. Cause like, ooh, Terrence. Okay, you're a young adult. I don't know if you're, I don't know if you have a significant other or not. I don't know if she will find you attractive or not either. Let's see, let's go introduce herself. <laughs> go introduce yourself to that random man running. Oh my God, it's Agatha. Oh, he's just running away. Sounds about right, honestly. You know, since our dude just kept running, we're just gonna head back home and start our garden. Um, finally. Uh, I feel bad for her, Laura. <laughs> should we get with Daryl or should we just, should I just make her somebody? Cause I'm, I'm already tired. <laughs> like it took 20 minutes for my game to load and my game skipped to the next day. Cause it was 7 PM when we were going to go on a, on a date, by the way. Like it was 7 PM. And then it skipped to 8 a.m. the next day. Like, that's insane. Like, the game should not do that to me. But it did it to me. And that's fucked up. So, I think either we should get with Daryl and just ignore the bad chemistry. Or, um, I just make her somebody. I'm leaning towards making her someone. Because it's already, like, put bags underneath my eyes. I already have bags underneath my eyes. Okay, game, I don't need more. I don't need you giving me more. I'll see you guys at home. Okay, everyone, so we're back home, and I just have her gardening. We have nine unique plants, okay? We have apple, grape, raspberry, strawberry, mushroom, green pea, bell pepper, spinach, and parsley. I think the other one's parsley. So yeah, we only need one more plant, but I do want her to grow, uh, you know, more seeds and stuff like that. I'm definitely leaning towards you know just making her someone today was a huge fail for her and i feel like she is a little discouraged about finding someone in brindleton bay at the moment she probably feels like she probably not gonna find anybody especially someone who's not married because everybody she's talked to so far has been married we're just simply not her type and it's like kind of sad you know I really wish the meet and mingle thing worked because it worked for other people. I, I've seen it work for other people and that's why I'm like disappointed that it's not working for me. I, I just don't understand and you know, it's okay. It, it's fine. And the Simda thing, like the fact that it took like 20 minutes to load and then skipped to a new day while loading, <laughs> skipped to a whole new day and then come to find out the man's married. Maybe I need to put in the singles only thing for blind dates, but I feel like I already have that. And that's kind of annoying. But yeah, I'm just going to end the episode off right here. I feel really bad for Alora, <laughs> Dude, I feel so bad for her. But she'll find somebody. AKA me making someone. <laughs> I was going to be making her parents anyway, so might as well make her parents and make her future husband at the same time. So why not? You know, why not? In the next part, we will get her skills up. I probably might throw another party. I don't know yet. We might go on another date. By the next episode, I will make her future husband and they will go on a date. Okay? So, we'll go on a date. We'll probably have another party. Um, and we'll meet up with her parents. That's what we'll do in the next episode. So, yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching this very first episode of the Family Dynamics Challenge. And I will see you all in the very next episode. Goodbye.